Katie is out today. She got doo-doo in her eye. This is what it is. Pink eye. <laughs> Let's just call it like it is. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> so, she got the doo-doo eye. She got doo-doo particles in the eye. That's right. Ooh. It caused an infection. Mm-hmm. All right. Is the drunk you the real you? Oh, gosh. I hope not. <laughs> Jason, for your sake. I side, hope not. I hope not. Because I, and I'm not being mean, but you are probably the most annoying person when they're drunk. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, you're, cause you're, you're a prankster and a jokester yeah. default. And that gets escalated to like an annoying level when you're some annoying when you're sober. But I mean, when you're, you know, you've been at a party or whatever, I'm like, please stop. Please yeah. stop pointing at me and some random girl. Please stop. <laughs> saying, I'm, I'm gonna that is a funny Temple. one. That is a good one. I will tell you this. Uh, <laughs> it is a good especially one. Yeah. when I know that somebody else is not drinking, you're my target. Oh, I mean, oh yeah. 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 You know, I remember Jared came to a restaurant we were at one time at night and. The entire time, everybody else is just all over the place, joking around, having fun. My target, Jared. Right. <laughs> For four hours straight, yeah. Jared. I'm like, you, want a, you want a shot of ranch that you can't have shots? Yeah. You look at you. The whole time, I'm like, everyone, look at he's doing shots. Doing what? Shots of ranch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He's going to have a Shirley. Or, no, she'll have a Shirley Temple. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. One time, I was like, you know what? You've been saying that for 15 years now. Can you actually buy me a Shirley Temple? <laughs> yeah. I've never had one. Yeah, yeah. one. Like, it's actually very tasty. Yeah. I'll have another. How will order these more often. Yeah. But yeah, a new study says uh, they're, they're, the drunk you and the sober you are really no different. It really shows who you really are in some ways. Uh, because, mm. of course, you know, all the guardrails are down. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, it makes an exaggerated version of you. But uh, that's kind of scary to think if that's really who people really are. I, I don't are. think yeah. so. Well, people have said that to before, and I have done things in the past. This is why I don't think it's the okay. real me. Because the real me would never have done the things in the past because I, I regret either yes. immediately the next day and regret till years later. That's regret because that's not me, and I don't like people that are like that. I got you. On, on the, there's bad stuff that you do because you lose, like, inhibition. Like, you lose what you would normally do sometimes. It's, it's a fact. Well, it, no, yeah, the inhibitions are gone. I so, mean, I've never drank before, but I, I mean— Think I, about it like this. If it was the real you— would I have hooked up with Mig- Miss Piggy that night? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, I would have. Probably not. You know what I'm saying? In college? Yeah. No. Well, you're just lying I'm, not, yourself. I'm not attracted right. to that person. <laughs> right. And when I say Miss Piggy, it's not that she was necessarily fat. She had this exact same face as Miss Piggy from the uh, Muppets. She had the pig mm. nose. <laughs> no, the, enti- the, the face. whole face. Yes, she could have been in the play. I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and no, I'm yeah. attracted to that. But at the time, it's like, eh, either one. Yeah, your, your, your decision making is impaired. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I wonder if, like, overall your personality is, like, it's kind of what you're thinking and what, and what you want to say and some of the things you want to do. But the only reason you're not doing it is because you have uh, the other thing saying you shouldn't do that. Maybe yeah. you're just a little more honest about certain things. Yeah. I agree. And you're less likely to have a filter. Like, yeah. may, maybe some of the, like, people you might hook up with, Jason, aren't true, but you might be honest about what you call them. <laughs> Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah. You're yeah. ugly. You're like, oh, okay. But I don't mm-hmm. care. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, but I mean, even you know, as they call that, you know, beer goggles at night. And it's, I'm sure Squid has been here. You know, mm-hmm. at the beginning of the night, you see girls and they start dwindling down, and you lose your uh, chance of getting with them. And by the end of the night, at least it was for me before uh, I was married and in college. At the end of the night, you have slim pickings. Oh yeah. And then <laughs> all of a sudden, the slim pickings are like, wait a minute, did I see this girl earlier? She looks pretty good. <laughs> Where she been? literally looks better. Looks better. And then, and then when the beer mm. goggles are off, you're like, oh, what I do? Yes. Yeah, I agree yeah. with that. I, and and I remember even talking to girls and like personality, um, especially when I lived in Virginia Beach. And that girl would like, we would go out for a second date, and it would be like sober. And I'm like. She has the worst personality in the history of America. There's no way I liked it. And I was shocked. <laughs> yeah. So I just don't think yeah. it is real. And there was times that I did to endanger other people when I was years and years oh, yeah, and sure. years ago. You know, it probably the drunk driving enforcement wasn't in, as enforced years and years mm-hmm. ago. Yeah. And I never paid attention no to Uber it that much. And now I'm yeah. like, oh, my gosh, how dangerous that was. Horrible. I would never, ever, ever do that now. Yeah. Ever. You're endangering the lives of people. So how could that be the real self? I'm glad it's not really. I mean, if this one study says that your drunk you is really the real you. You're very similar. Then. Mm-hmm. And um, I think there's a fine line between just being drunk and then being like, like hammered and like blackout to where like you don't remember things or regret doing things. Because that's like if you have like a slight, if you have a couple of drinks, you're just loosened up. And I feel like you're 
just more honest and transparent, and you're not. That's I don't true. Know, yeah, you're well, not, less about what other people you're think. You're not much. It says at all. drunk on the study. It, it doesn't, doesn't say drunk. Yeah. Or drinks. But wait, drunk. Yeah. I guess is spectral, right? It could yeah. be anywhere from like uh, to like uh, sloppy. I mean, yeah. well, I think, anywhere. Well, is it considered drunk or is it just drunk driving? If you're over .08, I think right? it's just the legal That's one. The I don't know what the, what the normal. Uh, as the only sober person on the show, we have to never drank before. Currently, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> life get hard. <laughs> I, I, I will say, I, think if, I will say, if there was a time that I would have started drinking, it would have been last year. So <laughs> I haven't done it yet, but I was, yeah, I was like, I can see why people will. Yeah. Uh, can I diagnose or say how you guys are to me when you're drunk? Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, I already said Jason. Jason. Is like super annoying, but he's trying to be funny the whole time. And he, the one thing, and it is funny, and I've told other people about it, and they don't get it, and I have to actually show them is the point, the double point. Oh, so oh yeah. Point at you. Oh, yeah. Now think about this. So you have a person <laughs> pointing at you and staring mm-hmm. at you. In a big crowd. In a big crowd. So people start looking like, why is he pointing at you? At you? Yeah, so yeah. With your arms out, you're taking up more space. You know, uh-huh. some more and you have to make a noise, too. You, you know go, that. Huh? You got to be like, huh? And everybody looks. <laughs> and, and, then, and everybody looks at Jerry. Everyone's staring at you. fully extended. A no, fully one extended. point. One point. One point. It starts oh, yeah. with the one point, and so then everyone's looking at you like, why is he pointing? Then he'll pick, usually, the most unattractive woman in America. Or in the room, <laughs> and point at that person. Boom! So both arms are extended, and no matter where you go, his arms follow you like, yeah, yeah. you do. So, yeah. You up. so then the girl's like, oh, he likes me? I'm like, oh, no, yes. I don't know. He, why is he doing this? We're at Nickelback. I, we're at Nickelback concert. I'm not sure what's happening. So the girl that's getting pointed at, yeah. everybody's looking at, and, then looks at me. and she looks at you, and then and then looks <laughs> back at me pointing at the two. And then you both keep... keep <laughs> that is hilarious. It is funny when it it's is not funny. happening to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's actually really funny. But uh-huh. it also could work. It could work in a good situation if the girl was attractive. Yeah. It might. It, it could yeah. start a conversation like, my, sorry, my idiot friend. Well, yeah, yeah, if you would do that, yeah, mm-hmm. for that purpose. I'm sorry, should... there wasn't the most attractive girls at Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> when I was married at the time, you were doing it to be uh, stupid. I'm like, yeah. stop, stop, stop. <laughs> yeah. I think he no, did it no, the no, other no. Friday. He did it the other Friday when we got beers after work. At yeah, the point? At, oh, yeah. Uh, at South End or whatever? South End? Downtown? This is go-to. Yeah, you, you did the point. You did the point, yeah. Yeah, but that was like mm-hmm. with you and another guy. Yeah, I know that. I know that, yeah. <laughs> and Squid's like, I guess yeah. I have to hook up with, yeah. with this guy. <laughs> oh, Jason said. Well, Jason, Jason uh, pointed it out. Yeah. I think yeah. Matt goes from chill as a normal sober person to like extra chill. Like he doesn't care about nothing. No. But like, <laughs> really I've never don't. seen him been, be like out of control or anything. But he'll dance and yeah. stuff, I yeah. noticed. Like uh, if he's uh, drinking more, like. Now, ever since the day I saw him doing Footloose at the wedding, uh, mm. I never saw that side of Matt. Yeah. And I think he'll if he, drunk, he drinks, he'll loosen up, and when a song comes on he likes, he goes for it. He does, and he can dance, actually. If there's enough mm-hmm. people that are doing it, yeah. Like, I'm not going to be the one person. Right. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's in a situation like that, for sure, especially at that wedding because it was Katie's and they forgot to put the mixer in with the liquor. So it was like <laughs> oh, yeah, straight, yeah. Straight liquor. Which means Matt's desensitized and didn't realize that it was straight liquor. Nope. <laughs> no like, idea. This is delicious. Yeah. Like, this is stiff, but all right. <laughs> and I feel like you do talk a little bit more, Matt. He does talk more. Yeah. 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 And yeah, I get more chatty. Mm-hmm. Squid, Squid is totally loose, and he turns into Josie 10.0. I mean, on steroids. He he doesn't stop talking. <laughs> I talked to him until like five in the morning before, and I'm like, yeah. oh, it's because he's been drinking. Like he's still talking about this. <laughs> And I, he sees me like I'm sleeping, and he, I just hear him still talking. And I wake up 30 minutes later, he's like, and then? And then? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but, like, the dude's in a good mood. And he's, like, very, like, um, he feel, he's, like, doing, like, a Tony Me- Robbins inspirational methodical. things. Or, or a very, um, like, a passion, almost to the point of, like, life knowledge. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah. He's, like, he's, like, my life coach all of a sudden. He's like, dude, man. <laughs> like, and then we can, like, you know, we can be, like, not even just nationally syndicated. We can be worldwide syndicated. Yeah. And we get our TV show together. <laughs> yeah. We get movies. And the next day I'm like, I'm like hey, you want to do that? But he's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, never mind. Because <laughs> I, I do think there's a lot of people that get drunk and then get, like, depressed or really anxious about something. But Squid just gets, like. He goes from sober with no motivation to like yeah. the most motivated, positive person that you could possibly yeah. interact he's with. Like, he's got all his life plans and, yeah. and, and goals for you. I'm like, wow. Well, I, I will tell yeah. you one thing that alcohol does do. If you're not too drunk, you're it does get rid of some fear. Yeah, Jared. Mm-hmm. So I can see that. I can see how people. I've known a lot of people that were raging alcoholics that were successful. Now it caught up with them, mm-hmm. but at first they were drinking all the time and doing crazy stuff. But they had. It's almost like they had no fear. So they just went for it, just no matter what, what the risk was, they just went for it. Like the guy that owns this over billion dollar company that I know in Virginia Beach, a billion dollar company yeah, that crazy. sold another company that he started for three hundred million, Oof, right? Just gosh, and, and he just can't. It wasn't he didn't have the money. Not, he just went for it. He had no fear, no fear, no fear. Mm. 
Yeah, that's a big thing. And then I think Katie, she's not here today, but I think she's ex- like maybe 50 times more likable when she's been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> she's so much more nice and personable. There's no yeah. judgment. Like, she, has those, right. she has that judgment face, and maybe I do it too. I don't. Maybe she's I don't not here for the record to defend yeah, herself, yeah, so we can do that. Out, yeah, right. Uh, she's out, so we can be more <laughs> courageous. But, you know, I, and Katie's nice otherwise, but she has that kind of like, hmm. Hmm. Looking down on you and like, oh, you do poor, you do <laughs> right. poor people things or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. she forgets how she used to be poor. But uh, and then, but when she's been drinking, she's like your best friend. She becomes a woman of the she people. She walked around yeah. the city with no shoes. She said, <laughs> yeah, right. in Austin, Texas, yeah. like, all day and all night. Yeah, no the last time we were in Savannah, I was like, we were talking. Uh, me and Katie were talking at a bar, and I was like. Wow, Katie's my friend. I was like, this is this is weird. <laughs> she's not judging. She's kind of cool. <laughs> she's like super cool when she's been drinking. Yeah. All right. So I don't know. One so, study says, you know. Oh, go ahead, Jared. Go for it. Just have one. I think I'd be everyone's worst nightmare if I was a drinker. Well, what would happen? I know it's against your religion, and I, right? Is that the main? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So it's against your religion to have any alcohol. Correct. But does that mean that you're going to get crucified if you just try it one time? No, but uh, yeah, it's a slippery slope. Is yeah. it really? I mean, like, if you are a member of our church and you drink, you're not like, oh my gosh, you're ostracized or anything. It's just that we have just choose not to. And you've never, never. ever tried it. I never feel like you'd be it. hilarious, I f- my personal opinion. <laughs> I probably. <laughs> yeah. I'd probably be super annoying, too. <laughs> yeah, I think annoying. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, watch this. Now, if we're yeah. both like that. <laughs> Squish oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, you and Jason will definitely have drunk fights. <laughs> I'd have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to leave. <laughs> We'd be leaving any bar just with uh, blood on our face. Yeah. We're like, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kneal behind this guy. You push him over me. He'll be real fun. <laughs> like, slap. What are you doing? Like, oh, 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 yeah. Do you get on TikTok? Like, no. <laughs> I would. Be, I think I would. Thank you. I think I would be extra funny, and mm-hmm. but I. I think it'd be so annoying. Maybe that's think. how we need to sell you. I think you'd be better looking. You'd be funnier. You'd be thinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been my whole life sober. So give me yeah. some credit. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty hard. It's impressive. It's then very impressive. Maybe you would. Very. You would be more successful if you drank. I know yeah. that sounds weird. <laughs> It's a great yeah. message for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying sometimes if you're drinking and you lose your fear, and then a lot of times, I swear to you, a lot of business is done. You know, after work at five, you, yeah. you get a couple of drinks in you, and the next thing you know, you're both now drinking, and you start saying, let's do it. Let's go for it. And you make that commitment. And even if you regret it the next day, you're like, I got to do it. Right. And, yeah. it. and it forces you to do it. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you're like, so yeah. You, th- that's the one thing. Well, yeah, I, and I do feel sometimes, I don't know saying any, any management ever wants to do anything with me, but I think they're probably like, he doesn't drink. Is he going to be like judging us and like <laughs> ruining the fun? So I, I think I don't get invited to things sometimes. Well, I think oh, yeah. I've known Jared long enough to where I don't know that Jared could just have a drink. No, absolutely not. Jared would go out and have 12. Yes. yes. The same way he consumes Dr. Pepper's. That is yeah. true. That's the one thing you got to watch out for. Yeah. And you becoming know, an alcoholic. And the you know, alcoholic. Yeah. And then uh, talking about weight issues already. And then yeah. you freaking uh, have like the biggest beer belly of all time. Yeah. Gross. Carrie, what do you want to say about uh, the drunk self being your real self? I think there's two parts to this topic. I think, for example, a lot of people, including myself, um, I avoid conflict and I keep a lot of my feelings inside. And I deal with a lot of rude, dysfunctional people on a daily basis. Katie? They just gravitate towards me. You're in our promotions department? And <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just hilarious. But I keep, uh, like, uh, when I drink, for some reason, it's just like I have more, like, the ability to confront the people and let them know how I feel. And, yeah, a lot of times I get angry and I get loud. And that's the part that I think that is my true self because I keep it all in. Now, there's another part of me, you know, that you were talking about earlier about Jared joking around. That's really me. I joke around. I'm sarcastic. I like to dance. But the drunk part of me that I do regret the next day, I don't know what it is, but when I am drunk, I love giving lap dances. It could be my friends. Oh. It could be it, it, like <laughs> not anybody's boyfriends. Do, I'm not. Do you do, I'm uh, not that kind of person. And home parties. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Oh. Even we- even weddings. Even weddings. Really? It's, it's, and then I wake up the next morning and I'm just like, wow, forgive me, God, for doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> but as far as I mean, as far as it goes. Um, about being the true serum, I think a lot of people that keep their feelings in, they are more, you know, confident in, in confronting the people and letting them know how you feel and how they made you feel. 
So yeah. I, I, I do, that's I my do think, on it. and I agree with you there. That's true. Mm-hmm. But I do think you sometimes perceive things differently or not the way it necessarily is or was. That happens mm-hmm. a lot. I notice that mm-hmm. with people. It's like, no, that's not that's not what this person's meaning. Meaning, you're on a different level. That's not what that was. Right. And, it, and it, it's perceived that way. Yes. And oh, they yeah. can't understand the outside factors, too, that are contributing to it. So that's why I think it's it's confusing. It can be mm-hmm. confusing. And definitely. And, yeah. And Katie's not wound tight. But I've known some people that are, like, super wound tight. And they're, like, kind of kind of a drag to be around. And then if you happen to be in a, at, like, a wedding and they've been oh. drinking, you're like, oh, they're actually. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, so they, they have something that's really mm-hmm. like anxiety or something when they're not drinking that just has them, like. Not living their life, but just kind of just existing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Depressing. Right. So, Carrie, Squid wants to know, are you single? Yeah, sure. Um, no, oh. I'm not. I've been married. I've been with my husband for 20 years. So, um, well, we dated for six years, and then we've been married for 13. Oh, Do you so. like to cheat on your husband? <laughs> Squid, <laughs> no. I she do like not to. like to cheat on no. my husband. Well, how's your husband? Yeah. Yeah. And he's, he, he thinks it's funny, too. Can like, I'll give my, my friend. Yeah, with my, like, girlfriends. Like, oh, I'll do that. It. I mean, and he loves it when I do it with him. I mean, and it's all of a sudden, like, the, the stripper in me comes out. Like, I don't get naked or anything like that. It's just, I I, <laughs> I just. <laughs> you let loose. I do. Carrie getting loose. I do. I I let very loose. Okay. And the one thing that I, that's very regrettable, I don't know why I do this also, when I drink, I have to pee a lot. And a lot yeah. of times, it doesn't matter if there's no bathroom or whatever, I will go in, like, the backyard and pee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, well, Carrie, we like, lo- I will yeah. not do it in public, but I will, I mean, I will find a private place to pee. And then it's just, you know, it's like situations like that. I wake up and I'm like, wow, I really did that. But no one saw me. So it's all good. And Carrie, are you so. by chance drinking now? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm drinking Diet Pepsi, so oh. I, I'm not okay. like an alcoholic that gets up and drinks in the morning, so there's no lap dances going on right now. You wait till so. about lunchtime. I got yeah. it. But diet sodas get you drunker than regular <laughs> sodas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. All right, Carrie. Thanks no. For, no. Thanks for being honest. We do yeah. appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I will say that about a, about women, though. Like, when women get drunk drunk, they turn feral. Like like she said, she'll you know, use, like. the, use the restroom anywhere. Like, you know, Katie yes. walk around with no shoes, don't get, doesn't care at all. Like having house parties when girls come over, you got to watch them the most because you'll look over the bathroom and tear it up inside. Yeah. Like it'll be like a disaster. Like when you walk in, I'm like, how do you act like this? I've like, seen my wife pee in way too many parking lots of a tailgate. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, they don't care. They don't care. Yeah. Well, and I've been with Katie before coming back from something, her and all her friends, and it was uh, some concert. And she, of course, I was the DD. And I pull over. She's like, pull over. And it's like some. Dangerous country road. All four of them are on the side of the road yep. using the bathroom. <laughs> like, ah, like being all loud or something. Like, yeah. I was like trying not to look at the rearview mirror. Kind of yeah. I had a house party in college one time and opened the door to use the bathroom. They didn't lock it. One girl was, you know, sitting down in the toilet. Her three friends were in my shower, squatting in my shower. <laughs> together. And I'm like, this is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're into that. Squid just, just go. In the back. <laughs> like, like, he's like, should I leave? Should I stay? What I don't know what to do. <laughs> Gross? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh no, I slipped the bill. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> <laughs>